guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back at a special location once again because look what is back another time around. We have the keys to a 2021 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. But before we get into the supercharged muscle car of an SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Mopar or no car. There are people, men and women, that have that slogan tattooed on their backs implanted into their frontal lobe and you know what they have very good reason because today in the 21st century dodge is still waving that muscle car flag and waving it proudly now we've already featured the all new 21 2021 dodge durango srt hellcat on Rady's rise but what i really wanted to focus on this time around is what do i personally love about the car and why would i buy this particular suv especially when you look at other suvs that are performance oriented, whether it's an Audi SQ8 or an RSQ8, maybe a BMW X5M, or some of those AMG SUVs from Mercedes. One thing is for certain, when it comes to just the rawness that that muscle car is known for, this Durango SUV is bringing it, and it's bringing it in 710 different ways. So let's go ahead, let's find out what are the things that I like about this Durango? SRT Hellcat, and why is it the muscle car SUV that I want to park in my garage? Right off the bat, it's just the presence of it. Now, new for 2021, what I'm really digging that we pointed out before is you have an updated, upgraded headlight design. They actually shortened it a little bit, the headlight housing. Really gives it a nice, mean overall look, which is what this car is all about, just mean, raw power. Everything is LED with your daytime running lamps. You got that projector beam LED headlight inside, and I like the way, for the most part, everything is blacked out. Now, as we drop down, you are going to have functional corner vents. Flat black with the white knuckle paint job pops perfectly. You're going to be able to bring that air, and it's functional. It's actually meant to bring cooler air to the engine oil cooler to keep those temperatures down so it doesn't rob us of horsepower. Now, as we come across the center section, when you look up in your rearview mirror and you see this, it just looks so menacing, and I love it. The flat black, the SRT badge with that Hellcat logo. Remember, SRT, street and racing technology. You drop down, you're going to get that same flat black grill design, fully functional, and just look how they take that front fascia and extend it off the front end. The great news is if you don't get an SRT Hellcat Durango, you're still going to get a lot of these upgraded, updated touches on the other Durangos for 2021. And guess what? These are all sold out, one per dealership around the United States. Now, when we get up onto the hood, love that bulge. Everybody, guy, girl, dogs, cats, they want that bulge. You get it big time, tenfold on the Durango Hellcat. Functional venting in the center, heat extractors up top. And what I love is that by the functionality of where those are placed and how they operate, that's what gives us the beautiful curves. And that's why this is an SUV I could actually stare at. You know, something else that's maybe closer in price point, maybe close but not close enough, is gonna be that Explorer ST. It just doesn't have that presence that this particular vehicle has. Now, when we come around the bend, I like the way there's no flat black. It's all painted white knuckle. When we get to the wheel and tire, I know that in the comment section in previous videos, this 20 inch wheel has been a really hot topic of debate. I don't know. I think overall I'm digging it. Yeah, I could see where some of you are coming from. If you have grown to love this wheel, put it in the comment section. If you still don't like it, let me know. But it's got the SRT badge in the center, machined aluminum finish. It is a 20 inch wheel. And we are talking about 295 on the width, all four corners because we have all wheel drive. You got your six piston Brembo calipers, two piece rotors over 14 inches in diameter, fully ventilated two-piece rotors, and you're gonna have, of course, that adaptive suspension, depending on which mode you're in, is gonna either, either stiffen or soften the suspension. With the red, I'm just digging it with the white knuckle and the SRT logo. Anytime you see that on a factory fresh, Challenger, Charger, this Durango, that's how you know it's a 2021. That's something new across the whole lineup. Now, when we go down the side, of course, no Hellcat is without its badging on the side. This is another thing that people love to get tattooed. I actually saw somebody branded with this in their arm once. Actually, it was pretty intense, but you can see just how intense of a badge that is. Color matched on the mirror caps. 
Going down the side, pretty much your same Durango that you've seen over the years. It is that three row, and that's what's nice about having that flexibility. I personally wish you could get it without the three row and just option it if you need that extra seating uh, capability. Now, as we work towards the rear, like I said, same size and width of the wheel and tire setup to keep you planted. And then as we wrap out back, you're getting more of that aggressive styling. So roof spoiler has actually been tweaked to give you more downforce. I love the raised corners, give you that downforce. Even the way they do the taillights, full LED, you got your four with the Dodge badge that tells you that that's all wheel drive, SRT with your Hellcat logo. And as we drop down, you're gonna get your oval cut with the slash, one exhaust on each side, special X-pipe to really let that V8 sing. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see that thing of wonder, the Hemi supercharged V8. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have that single hydraulic hood strut. Underneath that hood though, is that Hemi supercharged power that you're familiar with. Now it's in the Durango. So you're looking at a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that supercharger produces 11.6 pounds of boost, which is gonna to equate to 710 horsepower, 645 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a Torque Flight eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds. Quarter mile is certified by the NHRA, the National Hot Rod Association, 11.5 seconds in the quarter mile. Top speed, 180 miles an hour. It's featuring a cast iron block, forged steel crankshaft, 92 millimeter throttle body, the largest X-pipe period on a Durango. It even has, like I said, that air guide snorkel in the lower portion of the front fascia for the cold air induction and for bringing cool air to the engine oil cooler. It's just a thing of beauty. You pop the hood, seeing that masterpiece, all that power. I don't know about you, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this Durango Hellcat and hear what it sounds like. guys we're inside this 2021 durango hellcat i know you're at that point where you're saying well joe how much is this one this one fully loaded with the demonic interior is right around an msrp of ninety one thousand dollars let me show you the things that i really love in this interior first of all it's the demonic interior i love the red the white contrast stitching this new infused carbon fiber really really unique and no two pieces are the same and then this really is a great infotainment system that you could get across the whole Durango lineup. So that's a new over 10 inch infotainment system, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it's very easy to use. Plus, of course you have, this is an SRT product. You're gonna have those SRT controls. Let me go ahead and bring up, there they are, your performance pages, drive modes, and race options. So we go into performance pages, we have all that great information that we could pull up, the gauges, the dyno, the G-force, the vehicle dynamics. Then, guess what? We go back and we could go into race options. This is where we could set our launch control. You got your shift light, you're ready for the drag strip, ready for that quarter mile, and then you have your drive modes, which there they are. Track, sport, auto, snow, tow, and custom. I love the way it shows the drive to train. One of my favorite things in this vehicle, on top of that, you're gonna get ventilated seats, heated seats, which is wonderful. You got your toggle switches here for the launch control, wireless charging, and then look, race winning Twinkies. And tons of connectivity. Even you have your Twinkie cargo net for your passengers. So when you're going down the quarter mile, doing 180 miles an hour down the you know, front straightaway at a racetrack, you could have that Twinkie nice and safe. And you know what, these Twinkies are not for you. This is after you beat your competition and you pull up next to them and they give you a thumbs up, just throw them a Twinkie. And they'll, they'll love you for it, I promise you. I love the soft materials. Open this up, look at this, we got them lined up. Now these are for you. So once you give a Twinkie away, you eat a Twinkie. That's how we do it on Rady's Rides. On throttle, win the race, give a Twinkie, eat a Twinkie, and then the seats. 
great for the quarter mile, nice and wide. The bolstering is decent. Just on a road course, they're not the tightest, but I do love the way they have the matching seats, seat belts with the seats, and that wonderful SRT logo stamped in there. There isn't a sunroof. I know a lot of people complain about that. I personally don't care. I love the Alcantara uh, headliner. Lots of headroom, but why don't you come over here to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Hellcat. All right, guys, here we are behind the business end, the steering wheel of this Durango Hellcat. I love the thickness of the wheel. My only zonks is that, first of all, there should be a Hellcat logo here. I should be staring right at that Hellcat. It's gonna bite me right in my neck and rip my veins out. Then, the paddles, they are metal. I just wish they were a little larger. If you look on the TRX, the Ram TRX, there's larger paddles. That would just allow me to be a little bit more focused on driving rather than making sure I'm making contact with the paddles. But the dash, I love the layout. You have that digital display in the center with the tachometer. You do have an analog speedometer, which is a little redundant, but you do have your uh, temperature gauge, which is analog fuel gauge. And then that center, you actually can scroll through a ton of different information, which I really love. That's what allows this vehicle to be so versatile and just the touches that I really truly enjoy. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the mid row and the third row and see what I'm digging about those. All right guys, mid row and back seat time. You know what, what I love about this setup is you have the captain's chair arrangement. I love the nice actual center armrest. You do have rear seat entertainment, which is great, but I don't know who wants to be entertained on a screen. This is the entertainment. This is the theme park ride, all wrapped up in a one that you could drive every single day. You do have your AC controls, nice high, out of the way. And what's also smart is you get a nice command center. So you have your controls up there, large AC vents down here with home power source, heated seats and USB. I just wish the mid row was ventilated. Two cup holders, a Twinkie holder, in the center, and if you're wondering, well, am I gonna have to fight over somebody for the Twinkie? No, because look what we have. You have plenty of storage for a full box, and you got a USB and a 12 volt, or felt line, you're not gonna scratch your Twinkie, and guess what? I am glad they have this back here so nobody's touching my Twinkie. If I don't want you touching my Twinkie, you got your own to touch, so there you go. But you know what? We're gonna skip that third row, I'm gonna show you the cargo space, and then we're going on throttle in our Durango Hellcat. Right, guys, time to open up that rear hatch. Remember, that rear spoiler produces 400% more worth of downforce than your standard Durango, and you have that towing capability, 8,700 pounds. Hit the button, hatch opens, electric assist. What's great is, even with the third row up, you got a decent amount of space. But like I was saying, it'd be cool to option this without the third row, because watch what happens. We put the third row down, and you are ready to rock and roll. This allows you to bring some equipment for the drag strip. You could bring the coolers, the snacks. You got your uh, little cubby on the driver's side for all of the race winning Twinkies. You put a box of race winning Twinkies over there to give to all your competition. And then you lift this up, you even have more storage. I mean, that's just ridiculous how much storage there is. And that's what makes this so versatile. Now, if you're looking to push a button, it's not up here. They actually locate it right there slowly drops down but while we're waiting if you're ready i'm ready let's take this hellcat for a little spin all right guys my favorite part of the review we are at the on throttle driving this is why i would get one of these durango hellcats are the competitors more refined sure are they more polished sure but i just love the rawness in your face 710 horsepower with launch control i hope you're ready here we go on throttle yeah <laughs> Woo! Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> the sound of that supercharger whine. In the power of the gap ground, all wheel drive. And she handles too. Brakes are great. Watch this. Here we go. Look at this. this thing. Look at this, the downshifts. Here we go, yeah! Wow, 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 wow. This thing is incredible. So I left it in automatic mode. 
were in track and that torque flight did a great job with downshifting, keeping the chassis very stable, getting the power to the ground, and guess what? We got three row capability in here. The sounds alone are worth every penny. The feeling that you get behind the wheel, listen, you could go get the more polished ones, maybe you'd be happier, I don't care. This thing is all about moving your soul. Any SUV is about moving the body, but this particular one, moves your soul and does it in such a big major way god layout of the gauges you know we've talked about the uconnect 5 system absolutely love it the massive brakes and you saw this thing even though the center of gravity is higher can do the business in the twisty bits but i want to do launch control again we got a nice piece of straight road you just hit that tab Hold the brake down with your left foot and hold it down tight. Keep it centered, keep it straight. Throttle, release, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Wow, oh my God, this thing. <laughs> Feeling the sensitivity through the steering wheel is great. I wish, believe it or not, the steering was actually just a little heavier. Just a little heavier to communicate what the front wheels are doing, but you know what? The balance from front to rear is phenomenal. Visibility is great. You feel like you're perched up super high and just planted. And that X pipe, yeah, it's the largest. You know how I know? I can hear it. And it sounds so harmonious. It's ridiculous. You got your wireless charging, you got your wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Seeing that big, huge muscle car bulge of that hood, and I can see one of the heat extractors on the driver's side. Unbelievable. Un-freaking-believable. We gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. Come to a dead stop. Hit the launch control button. You know what we do. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Here we go. On the brakes. feel good decreasing radius look where you want to go yeah God. the way it puts the power down with that all-wheel drive is just straight up ridiculous it does such a great job you're so planted I, I need a pull over and literally stop for a second because my heart rate I'm telling you this will definitely raise the hair all over your body and if it's not you may want to check yourself for a pulse because you may be not alive because this car this SUV will will make you feel alive that's for sure all right guys here's what we're going to do I'm actually going to use the paddles to shift manually through that torque flight eight speed you do have a gear indicator it's on the smaller side, but at least it's all by itself. Second gear, hot throttle, here we go. Hold that third. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Up to fourth, back down to third. Wow. Unbelievable on freaking believable this thing and you know what for a non-dct transmission it shifts really quickly all right guys once again here we go on throttle release yeah. <laughs> absolutely mind-blowing look at this thing nice gets the power down love this turn right here Shows the chassis balance. Yeah! Unbelievable. This freaking SUV is unbelievable, and that's why I want one in my garage. And I don't even need an SUV, but that all-wheel drive, ridiculous. Wow. All right, guys, one last time. Here we go. 
this one up I could do this all day long uh, but uh, we gotta get back thanks for sharing it with me all right guys it's been another amazing day with this Dodge Durango Hellcat I definitely gotta thank Kimberly Claire Ashton the whole crew getting us access to once again another Durango Hellcat it's just like I said in this review everything just adds up to this big muscle car performance picture and you could have all that great usability and really a look that when you're driving it down the road people hear it people see it and they're like whoa what is it but if you want to keep seeing Mopar products and supercharged craziness on Rady's Rides leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button I promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel click the link in the description get yourself some Rady's Rise merch got to give it out to the queen of the camera my wonderful wife, Lori, working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next road.